Her character up here, her. She has hair. She has a certain hair pattern in this illustration, okay? It starts from like right there to there, which it looks already creepy as it is, you know? And then you got this part right here too. Now it might be pointing us to some other things, but for now we just like stay on those. Notice how they're all doing the, you know, the piece. We also have this over here. It's pretty creepy. It's just some creepy stuff, you know? But it has to show it to you, you know, like again, 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 again. Even when you're looking at the map of this game, you know, you get kind of some ideas. But what I thought was pretty crazy is that you'll be going over here. You have this right here positioned in a certain way, you know? <laughs> Same area of the green. Also, um, one of the females in the game, when uh, her hair, uh, it breaks off. So it breaks off stuff that is like this. Now, can we actually find one of the pieces? You know what I'm saying? Can we find one of the pieces that are in it? It looks like we can actually, because you see this? We go up here, up here, up here. That's your reasoning behind Pokemon Z has some pretty crazy things. I always go, because I, like, there's your hair once again. There's an idea of the hair again. That's an even better idea. But, like, it's the, uh, you could consider that even a good idea, too. But um, the, uh, the whole symbol has been, remember, they announced a huge game. They announced Pokemon Z, you know, Pokemon Z was announced. You got this right here. Look at that. Look at that little piece of crap, right? That's actually good because we get down here and then we still get the H. So there's our spike, right? Yeah, it's pretty creepy. Also, uh, hold on a minute. You know, she has her eyes into that. This one's kind of crazy to look at, and I think, like, I could add this to the title, and I'll add that to the title, because that sounds like a very good title for this.